Hello, my name's Amy and welcome back to another video, which I feel is long overdue. I haven't posted anything here since something like March or April. And honestly, I've had a bit of a crisis of confidence over this channel in the last few months. It's not that I didn't want to make videos, but I just wasn't sure what to do with them. I didn't know whether to continue with this channel and vary the content, whether to set up another channel and scrap this one, to have two channels at once, or just to completely give up YouTube altogether. But in the end, I have found myself coming back here as I so often do. So first of all, I hope you are well. Thank you for sticking with me. And if you are new here, my name is Amy. I am a writer living in the north of England where I run a holiday business and we're currently in the middle of building our own home. So let's do some very quick house updates first. The barn has really come on this summer. We now have the majority of our internal block walls up and we are really, really hoping that by the end of this summer, the roof will be on. If we can achieve that, that will be a massive step forwards because the external structure has been without a roof for about a year now. But but we are of course aware that there is still a lot of work to do and progress has been very slow so we're not expecting to be done anytime soon. Now let's talk about writing. This has been a big writing year for me. I made some decisions earlier this year about which projects I wanted to focus on and that included writing some of the bigger more epic fantasies that have been on my list for a while. Now I quite often get into epic fantasies and put them aside after a few thousand words because I kind of get intimidated by the scale of them but I've done a much better job this year of sticking to my plan. First of all a couple of weeks ago now I released the third book in my Moon Ruin saga series. That is called The Ashen King. It is out on Amazon now and I'm so pleased to have it out there. This was one of those books that was drafted pretty quickly but then the editing process seemed to drag on and on. Not because the book needed a vast amount of work to be honest but just because time was short and I was trying to squeeze it in around a lot of other things. But getting that finished has allowed me to focus on the epic fantasy and right now I am working on a book I I've been referring to as Project Dragon. I am over 70,000 words into the draft. I expect it's going to come to somewhere around 140,000 words. Now that isn't really up there with really big epic fantasy novels but it is only a single point of view for this first book in the series and it is going to be longer than anything else I've ever written. I didn't want to start with a massive book because I anticipate there being somewhere between 8 and 12 books in this series and I'm pretty sure they will get longer volume by volume. The one big change with my writing process this year is that I have been trying to write faster. This has been a year all about focus staying focused on individual projects, not getting too distracted, trying to just power through and get things finished rather than dragging them out over many months. Now Project Dragon has still taken longer than I would have liked but a lot of that is down to the Ashen King and having to edit that first. Right now even though we're in the middle of summer and life is very busy I am still trying to write about 10 to 15,000 words a week and I am also taking weekends off for the most part so that means writing a minimum of 2,000 words every weekday. I will admit this is out of my comfort zone. It is a long time since I have written so many words in one go. The last time was when drafting The Goldstone Tower which was the book before The Ashen King but I was doing that in spring when life was much quieter and my daughter was at school. So drafting Project Dragon has been really quite strange but also a lot of fun. So that is the book you are going to see me reference the most often in coming vlogs. Like I said, I am somewhere in the middle section of the book. I'm not quite sure how long it is going to be, but it's going to be a good few weeks before it is wrapped up. 
I would really like to see it released by the end of this year. I know that is ambitious, but I'm trying to really focus on those goals and get things finished this year. So there is a very brief update on where my life is at right now. I do have a vlog coming up that was filmed back in the early part of the summer, which I never got around to finishing and posting, but it is a fun sort of cottagecore themed one with lots of reading content, so I'm going to put that up soon. And then I want to share some of my late summer and early autumn adventures in this beautiful part of the world. I have finally been getting the camera out quite a lot recently, so I have lots to show you. So thank you again for being here. It really is a pleasure to be back in front of the camera, to be showing you this glorious landscape that I live in, to be chatting about writing and about books. So I will be back with you again very soon. See you next time.